Welcome YouTube. Today on the channel, I review the Conaway. Conaway? Conaway. <laughs> it's a KW208 car battery tester. So we're going to do an in the vehicle battery test and an out of the vehicle battery test and see how this thing holds up against the equipment that uh, I got used to working with at the shop. KW208 battery car battery tester. It had pretty good reviews. So I'm gonna review it, check it out, and we're gonna unbox it right here before your eyes. And it's just this device. That's comes with a user's manual, a little, little tiny guy. Wires connect to this. And uh, ooh, it's got the sticker on the front. See how long this cable is, because that's one of the things. So when I worked at the shop, we used one of these every vehicle as a, when we did a uh, vehicle inspection, making sure the battery is good, charging system is good. This isn't that long. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's nice to be able to have one long enough to, but this is cool. I mean, for 30 bucks, I can't complain. Um, but having one that's long enough to connect to the battery and sit in the car, start the car, turn the headlights on, whatever it needs. Um, but for 30 bucks, uh, that's, that's going to be, I think that's going to be. Okay, so first of all, removing the battery and the fuse cover. And here we are, we got side post on this puppy. So black to negative, red to positive. That turns it on. It runs by the battery power of the car. There we go. Turn off the screen cover. And it check review setup and about. Unless you're from Canada, then it's a boat. In vehicle, battery test, surface charge, yep. I used to have an old boom box that even if the batteries were out of it, you turned it on for a second and it would power up just for a minute and then it would drain out. And it was like, ghosts, whoa. <laughs> no, that's surface charge. For about 10 seconds. See, in the one that we had at the shop, you had a long enough cord where you could just hold it here and then it would say, turn headlights off. This one is going to ask us to do it for 10 seconds. Make sure the headlights are indeed on. Yep. Headlights off. And enter regular flooded, which means it's got fluid in it, water. So that's what this covers signify. It's not a, it's not a flat plate or a spiral or a gel. Those batteries are expensive. Anyway, cold cranking amps, it asks for your cold cranking amps, which I, 650, are usually right here. Uh, 650, see that? Now, if they're not, I've Googled it before. So at the shop, you can Google, you have a 3.9 V6, whatever you're dealing with, whether it's a four cylinder or a six cylinder or an eight cylinder, it's gonna wanna know that, and that will give you your cold cranking number just, uh, just by Googling it. So if you don't have your cold cranking amp, that's what you do. Anyway, testing. Good. Recharge. G6 has been sitting for a while. And uh, the battery's good though. And now for a charging test. So I'm going to hit exit. Check. So at this point, instead of checking the battery, what you're going to do before you hit enter is start the vehicle. Yeah, 
let it reach about that far. Okay, increase RPM to 2500. This is where it helps to be able to bring it in the vehicle. But that's okay. We're going to try this. Because again, 30 bucks, I'm not complaining. So we're going to try, uh, just going to hold it at 2500 and then come back out and check it. Let's try that. normally good news for the old v6 here all right how about this battery out of the car check enter out of the car vehicle regular flooded 540 on this one we dial it down to the arrow button Enter. Good battery. Look at that. March of 17. So how about the white BMW battery? I got from the shop. Traded it for one of mine because when we tested it at the shop, it tested it okay. Check. So I took one of my bad batteries and traded the core. Because the company gets the core. Regular flooded, cold cranking amps. Oh, this one's gonna be significantly more. Or CCA 720. Charge and retest. Uh oh. 10.5. Hmm. Interesting. I charged this battery about the same time as I charged that battery. So this may be bad. I don't know. Again, the KW208, it functions really well. It works just like the tester I had at the shop where every oil change, just about everything we did, we ran a tester like that to make sure everything was, the battery was charged and the alternator was putting out good juice. It's a very important piece of machinery for only 30 bucks, great deal. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want one. Uh, you don't wanna hunt around for it. And uh, so far, I like it. It's a great little piece of technology. Kind of wee, kind of way, kind of wee. I, I don't know, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if it's helped. Uh, you should get one. It's just a great thing to have around. You have a neighbor or a friend, their car isn't charging properly, their battery, they're, you know, starting hard in the morning. 
alternator, this this will tell you for 30 bucks and you can use it over and over again. Don't forget Later. to subscribe Bye. and why not watch another video? Stick around. Thank you.